Despite the harsh economic climate, small and local businesses continue to blossom in North Loud. The Dundalk Democrat attended the Dunlear Trade Fair to hear from traders and organisers of the event. It became in my name. I was a farmer council over this area for 50 years <laughs> almost. I'm very impressed by uh, all the industries I see here, the small industries. It's certainly a great outlook for a lot of them, they're very positive. And it shows the importance of having an exhibition like this. It's great that people get to know that these people have started off small businesses and uh, been very positive, a good outlook. And I think that's what we want in the country at the present time. Thomas Clare, former colleague of Nicky McCabe's. I'm delighted to welcome Nicky here today. Nicky was very uh, instrumental 30 years ago in bringing the recreation centre to Dunlear and the whole community here is very grateful that he com comes back to every big event that we've got and again to, to just to add to what Nicky has said it's, it's a great pleasure to have so many small businesses here supporting the show and it's, it's, it's a great opportunity for them and for us to showcase what Dunlear's got to offer. Hi, my name's Beverly and I have a website called the Green Curiosity Shop .ie, and uh, basically I just sell eco-friendly products such as toys and hand cream and recycled stationery and reusable lunch bags, anything that can be recycled can be used. It's been good, uh, very good. I like it and we've had lots of people in. The stand here is an industrial farm machinery. Uh, we're a company that um, sells hydraulic hose and couplings in the northeast. We're uh, based here outside Dundee in Mullins Cross. Uh, we've been operating for over 40 years. We exported new gun quite well for us today. Uh, we've got plenty of interest in our stand and uh, plenty of interest, as I say, in our products, especially the tiny tools. This would be the fifth uh, trade show that we've had in Dunlear over the last number of years. We've had two this year. We've something in the range of 60 or 70 exhibitors today. And, you know, again, maybe the half of them are all brand new businesses, which is possibly a sign of the times and, and that we live in at the moment. Karen Duffy from Matthews Tours and Matthews Co Tire. We run the commuter service between Dundalk Draw in Dublin, but we're also a bonded tour company. There's plenty of people here today, and we're actually doing our Christmas draw and uh, taking names for 2011 brochure that's coming out next month. Hi, I'm John Hoy from uh, Hoy's Timber and DIY in Castle Bellingham. I'm here today representing the company, just showing off some of our the tools we do. I'm getting uh, positive feedback from people. I have to say that they've been taking the brochure and a lot of questions and things, and seems to be a good footfall of people about you know, and things going quite well. Speaking with some of the exhibitors here today. Um, you know, there's a, there's, a, there's a strong demand among the small traders uh, to have as many shows as possible. So our, our, our ambition is to hold two shows per year, keep business local. That's our entire objective, especially in the present economic times. That being said, I should add that all the proceeds of the show today are, are going to the local playground, which again, I know it's something close to Nicky McCabe's heart. He's for, for many years uh, represented the Midland area and hopefully there'll be a new playground in Dunlear before too long. We're Danone flour, we're organic farmers and we grow organic wheat, rye, spelt and peas and beans. A lot of people are very interested in the bread and uh, when I explain to them that the flour makes the bread that I'm selling then they're interested and they usually buy a bit of bread and a bit of flour. So um, it's, going, it's going very well, I'm very pleased so far. My name is uh, John Hand, I'm the uh, Principal Consultant with uh, John Hand and Associates Safety and Training uh, Consultancy. Um, our, our function is we provide a, a range of training and safety services for small, medium to large enterprises. We're a local company and we're here partly to support the community, partly to support the, the Near Development Association and also to hopefully generate a little bit of business locally for ourselves. So far today, great, we've got a good, it's been a good turnover of people, a steady turnover of people. Uh, a lot of people interested in our manual handling training. Uh, a lot of smaller businesses interested in learning about the law and the legislation and what they have to do and what they don't have to do. Uh, some good, uh, hopefully some good leads that we can follow up and maybe they'll lead to a bit of business. But I think the, the overall goal of today is to be here and get your name out and to meet people. And I think we've achieved that even if we don't get any business. It's, it's good to be here in support. Very uh, positive attitude of the public towards this. People are very impressed by the display of goods and a small business starting up and a lot of people came here didn't know that these businesses were in operation nearly. Maybe a bit more publicity would be good for them. 
but certainly it's great to see so many young people starting up business and being positive. We're with a company called Ferdy Jewellers, Castle Street RD. Um, we're almost two years in business and um, our selection of stock basically is from Corona to Amarno, Laura's watches, good variety of gold and silver. It's been great here today. I think people are very interested in the time we are regarding the sale, which we're doing. So it's just getting known and getting a little bit of advertising done. So basically, great response today so far. And we still have a few hours to go. Declan here from Carlitos Restaurant in Dunlear, um, established in 1997. And we've recently started to make our own chutneys, sauces, and uh, condiments. This is our first time doing the expo. and. Uh, it's, it's been very positive. If I could just add to what Nikki has said there, I heard a statistic lately that, you know, that there are some 800,000 800, odd employees uh, in the small uh, medium enterprise sector in Ireland. Most of them are represented by small businesses like we've got here today. And it's, it's a great pleasure to be able to help those businesses in, in any way possible. So again, to add to what Nikki said, it's tough for small business at the minute. This is a whole voluntary, low cost show and you know it's our way of doing our little bit to help local business stay local.